What's up guys, Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Dev Pro Duel video in Ranked, and this time I'm going to be playing with another Pendulum deck. If you know me, you know I love playing with Pendulum decks in general because I think the mechanic is incredibly absurd, and any deck that can abuse the Pendulum mechanic is something that I really enjoy playing because just being able to throw literally your entire load on the table at a moment's notice is something that, uh, that I really enjoy, and I really like combo decks. But anyway, this deck list specifically is the deck list piloted by Joshua Smith, this past weekend at Euros that he used to get a top 16 finish. Losing out in top 16 to Draco Pals, unfortunately, uh, he had some you know issues with bricking and stuff like that, and ultimately just ended up losing out. Um, I would have been very, very surprised for a deck like this to have won the uh, event because it's an Odd Eyes Magician deck at its core, but it does have a lot of Performer Pals in it, and it actually functions more like a Performer Pal Magician deck, which is actually something that a few people that I know of have tried to do, but they didn't come up with any deck list similar to this, and they ultimately dropped the concept in terms of testing for the uh, for the North American Nats. Uh, now, this is something that I really just like the look of this deck list. I really like how it looks. There are a couple things that I might want to change, um, just for my own personal taste. Like for instance, I'm just not the biggest fan of Valor, even though it is surgible by Abductor. I'm not a fan of it. Um, I'd probably play two Apex Avion, stuff like that. Just minor things that I like would tweak. Um, maybe take out the Lizard Draw because Lizard Draw is very much here for being able to search Valor off Abductor for like the Abductor uh, Pendulum uh, Sorcerer combo because it allows you to, you know, Pendulum Sorcerer, Abductor, and then you search Joker and Monkey Board and you are able to, uh, you're able to play Monkey Board, Lizard Draw, get two counters on Abductor, pop the Lizard Draw, and then play any other scale that you search off the Monkey Board or the Joker, and then that gives you three counters for Abductor. It's like little, little, like nuances like that. Um, that would just kind of like be cut from the deck potentially if I uh, decided to test this deck a little bit further and actually try to edit it for myself. But as it stands, I'm just going to be playing the list as it is on screen because I want to test it out a bit further. And I felt like, you know, while I'm testing it, why not film a video for it? So let's just uh, stop this rambling and jump into the game. All right. So as per usual, we're going to see how this one goes. All right. Awesome. I win rock, paper, scissors. It's great for me. Uh, that means I can actually do some really cool shit, and I also have Terraforming Sky Iris plus a Wisdom Eye combo. That's actually really good. Um, that's actually really, really good, in fact, um, because I'll be able to use Sky Iris and get Odd Eyes, which will then search for Monkey Board, um, and like I can put Vortex out. I can do a couple of different things. Now, unfortunately, um, I do not have Kieran or any of my defensive options, which is kind of a problem, but I don't think that's actually too big of an issue. Uh, particularly since like I can just commit this Wisdom Eye and this Joker into a rank 4. Probably going to blind a Dweller, or I might just make Magister. That way I can get double searches in the end phase, potentially. Who knows? Uh, I haven't decided yet. But, so we'll just activate these. This uh, Wisdom Eye is going to be 100% free, putting a Dragon Pit into the other scale. This could add back Wisdom Eye if I wanted to. Um, or what I can do here is I can actually uh, use Sky Iris. I can use Sky Iris to pop the uh, the Dragon Pit, put it in my uh, put it in my extra deck, and then uh, I can use Oaf Dragon to add back the Wisdom Eye, so that I'll be able to uh, just have another free level seven, uh, which is actually probably exactly what's going to happen. So yes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to activate this just to circulate free cards because you might as well like having the Sky Iris just makes it. May it, it makes it be more of a plus. Um, honestly, if there was more copies of Oath Dragon in this deck, I'd probably pop it. Um, true story, but Dragon Pit is a defensive line, being 2700 defense. So we'll go with that. Uh, but I'm gonna add Pendulum Dragon here, uh, which I can actually, I can actually put it in my scale if I wanted to. Uh, but I can put Wisdom Eye here and then do Dragon Pit. And then Dragon Pit uh, will uh, will stay there. So I actually, ooh, I actually should have probably just pinned some of the Wisdom Eye. But I can activate this at any point. Oh, so I can just put Vortex on board. Um, I can do Magister Vortex. That seems really neat. So we'll go for that. And the Vortex will be loaded with uh, with two with two negations. So we will go for that. Indeed, indeedums. So I can actually Pendulum Summon here. I can Pendulum Summon all of these, and so from here, I can use Odd Eyes Fusion for essentially free to uh, 
to use these into a vortex, and that generates a defensive line. I could do I could do vortex dweller. I could do vortex um, magister, uh, but I don't know if magister is even worth particularly. Um, dweller might be worth. Uh, I feel like it's just safer to do the dweller option, simply because these are going into my strike anyway, so they are a pendulum source next turn. So yeah, I will do the uh, I will do the dweller. Because this can get popped, this can add back, that can add back Wisdom Eye uh, if need be. It's absolutely not an issue. So, we'll just summon this, and we'll set this card, and then we'll pass. So this Vortex is loaded with uh, two negations. I'm going to draw phase the Dweller, because there's no reason not to. Dweller has to be activated preemptively anyway. And if I, like, get kaiju or something, I don't want to get kaiju over Dweller and then, like, have, like, BAs uh, be a thing. Uh, so he's MSTing my Sky Iris, which I'm actually okay with. He can have that, um, because what that, like, I can negate it with Vortex, but I'm fine with that. I have so many different cards. Okay, Volcanics. All right. Um, uh, ooh. Um, well, I'm going to actually use Vortex to negate that, putting a Dragon Pit back into the deck, because Odd Eyes is just a bigger beater. Uh, I'm going to negate this, that way it forces him to have Blaze Accelerator Reload, stuff like that. Uh, Dweller is also something that I can utilize on another turn to uh, to make sure that like Scattershot isn't a threat, so there's that as well. I'm perfectly okay with that being a thing. That's Archfiend Eccentric, so I can actually use Dragon Pit discarding that to pop one of the back row, and then I have, um, I have Odd Eyes that I can summon out of my extra deck as well. Um, if Vortex Dragon dies, I'm not too worried about it because I'm able to make Absolute Dragon and then Absolute Dragon gets to bring back Vortex. So, like, I'm actually not too concerned with protecting it. Uh, strangely enough. It sounds like it's weird, but it actually just isn't. Um, isn't weird at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and activate MST here. Uh, targeting this. Because I'm just gonna see what's there. A Vanity's Emptiness. Um, alright. Well, what I'm able to do here is I'm actually able to use this as well, discarding this Pendulum to kill another card, and that is Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmare, and so now, actually, this Vortex Dragon can literally negate this last card, so I actually don't think I'm going to Pendulum Summon the Odd Eyes, just because it's the only card in my Pendulum uh, extra deck now, so, like, this gets to negate that card, so I'm absolutely 100% fine leaving the Odd Eyes there. At this point, I'm in such control of this game because I have more cards than him, one, and two, I've got a Dweller and Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, so I'm freely able to negate at least one card. Uh, if he clears any of my scales, then that's even more of just negations I get. At this point, he's stuck between a rock and a hard place, essentially, because in order for him to win, he has to clear my monsters or clear my scales. He can't clear my monsters because Dweller is going to stop him from using Scattershot. But, um, but with uh, Oaf Dragon uh, and Dragon Pit in my scales, I'm constantly able to draw Magicians and just beat him down. So there is that. Uh, so do I just want to negate this? Um, oh, he's just not using its effect. Interesting. Well, I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Uh, there's no point in not activating it um, because of the fact that like he could easily just have something like Scattershot. Uh, so he didn't use its effect. I find that interesting. I guess he just didn't want me to negate it, um, essentially. But this is another Pendulum monster, so I literally just get to activate this. Um, so I'm going to activate this, discarding Light Phoenix, popping this. This deck has so many Pendulum Monsters, you just keep turning this into MST. Um, so now, like, I've been extremely simplified the game state down uh, to where I actually probably should have just, I should have just Pendulum Summoned the Odd Eyes. Well, actually, no, it's not game either way, so. Well, yes, it would have been game. Would it? Um, this bounces a type position monster. So I could have Pendulumed the Odd Eyes, made uh, Absolute Dragon. Absolute could have negated its own attack. This, nah, it would have been... Would have been the same amount of damage, and I would have removed my negations from the extra deck, and I would have had an absolute dragon, which is essentially just a glorified utopia. So I would have had, like, nothing else. So at this point, I'm just heavily controlling this game. That's another scale. Just gonna keep using them. Just gonna keep using and abusing. Uh, Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmare. So at this point, I feel like it's okay for me to just Pendulum Summon this Odd Eyes. Uh, I feel like it's 100% fine. Uh, and is there anything in my extra deck that's actually worth? Um, I can make Flare Metal. Um, I can make Absolute, I can make Big Eye, and I can make Rebellion, potentially, but, ah, I don't think any of those options are really worth it. I'm just gonna attack this and see where we get. That's a Royal Firestorm Guard, which is dead, because I haven't been letting him do his things. 
man, his entire hand wasn't really that great. Um, like, let's look. Like, he just had a, well, it was rocket and a bunch of traps, like a bunch of very good traps. Like, if we consider this was his opening hand, that was actually pretty decent, but, like, he didn't get his reload because I negated the first rocket, and then he didn't have anywhere to go with it in terms of drawing cards. So, uh, well, he's at 700, so I think I'm just going to make flare metal because I don't have a negation. So I could easily just lose out to uh, like a Raigeki here. So I'm just going to make Flare Metal. Uh, because at this point, he's going to have to pay 500 to activate card effects. And there's no way he can beat me without activating at least two cards. There's zero way that he can beat me without activating at least two cards. And so, like, this will just be game. Alright. <laughs> it's just game. Okay. That seemed kind of bullyish. But, like, I opened a really good hand. A really good hand that didn't involve Pendulum Sorcerer as well, which is actually strange. Pendulum Sorcerer or Abductor. Like, if I had opened Abductor, Pendulum Sorcerer, or even just, like, Abductor plus um, plus that Oaf Dragon, like, that would have been really good because I would have been able to get Pendulum Sorcerer, which would have then gone into Joker, which would have then gone into Wisdom Eye. I would have gotten a lot of free pluses off Skyrus as well. Uh, it would have been really cool, but ultimately, I do really like this deck. There are a few changes that I think I'm going to make to it to make it sort of, you know, a little bit more my own flavor and taste of what I want to play this deck as, but I do really like how it's very simple pendulum mechanic. It takes advantage of all the basic strengths of the pendulum mechanic and just, you know, utilizes them to its potential fullest ability. Stuff like that. I really like it, and I will probably be playing with this specific version of pendulums more in the future, uh, because Draco Pals, I've kind of burnt myself out on it. It's very combo-oriented. It's very intricate, but, like, this deck is more simplistic, and it does just as impactful of plays. And it actually generates lines of defense, you know, through Apex Avion, through Vortex, through Kirin, stuff like that. And you can actually generate more lines of defense through different options, like playing Fox and Tempests and stuff like that. Uh, so there's multiple different routes this deck could go, and I really like to enjoy uh, like exploring all of them, essentially. But anyway, that's all for this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description of my Facebook pages. If you want to check those out, definitely go for it. If you want to suggest a deck for me to play... Send it to my Facebook fan page. If you've sent it before, send it again because I have 100% wiped everything out of my Facebook fan page because it was very, very full and very outdated. So I've wiped all the messages. If you'd sent one before this video went live, then chances are it got deleted. So if you want me to play it, send it again. Preferably TCG legal decks um, or decks that are soon to be TCG legal. Like if the cards for it are coming out in like two weeks to a month, then maybe I'll consider it. But... I like to stay TCG legal. But other than that, if you like this video and you want to support me, clicking ads on my videos and uh, disabling ad block when you view my videos is the best way to support me. Helps me out a lot. Can't express how much I'd appreciate it. And if you have an ad block enabled, if you could take a few seconds out of your day to disable your ad block, refresh the video, click an ad tune, and put the ad block back on when you're done. It just takes seconds out of your day, takes no money out of your pocket, and helps me out so, so very much. And you would have my eternal gratitude. But other than that, that is all for this video. And as always, guys, take care.